do. All right, I'll talk to you Monday. Finally, Friday evening, 5.30, the day is over. You know what that means. Yep. Let me show you what we got in the shop. We just put them to bed for the weekend. Starting here, 2019 JL. It's getting Ultimate 60s front and rear, 40s, Hutchinson bead locks, long arm kit, front bumper, rear bumper, winch, rock sliders. This will be a full build. You guys should look forward to seeing this. Uh, should be done in about a week. So check back in. You'll see this one as we progress on that. Right here you have uh, basically your mom's Tahoe, uh, white with a mismatched door. This belongs to Evan, and uh, we just got done putting an 05 and up Ford Super Duty front axle in it. And Evan went all out on this one. It's got RCV shafts, two inch quarter wall, heavy duty tie rod, hydro assist, has all of our WFO radius arm kit in this Tahoe, and two and a half inch, 12 inch travel foxes. But the best part of this rig is underneath the hood. This is a 540 scat stroker. Big block with Brodix heads, fast fuel injection. I think it's going to be about 700 horsepower, so this is perfect for picking up the kids at soccer. Uh, watch out, Bay Area, because this thing's going to get it on. If you look over here, we have the Centaur truck that Sinister Diesel built for SEMA this year. We were lucky enough to do a lot of work on the suspension for them. This truck has 46 inch tires. Front and rear flares, it's amazing. It's a 2018 F350 base. We're doing a little work on this thing, but this is an awesome truck. Only three and a half inch lift on 46s. Bypasses, coilovers. Uh, look over here. We got a customer CJ7 that we're getting rid of the leaf springs in the rear. So we back half the frame, built a new section of frame, and built, uh, these are our trailing arms that we're putting in it. Dual triangulated four link, has a three and a half inch spider tracks rear chromoly housing with a mega high nine. We're getting ready to get this thing on the ground. It's getting 42s, air bumps, sway bar. As soon as we're done with the front, we're gonna go ahead and finish up, or the rear, we're gonna go ahead and finish up the front. Uh, this is a project we've been working on for a long time. This is a scrambler that's custom chassis, 14 bolt rear, 60 front, coilovers front and rear. It's going to be kind of a, a resto mod. It has a three liter turbo diesel in it. And it's not finished, but you can see a lot of the plumbing. It's intercooled, air box in the fender, uh, air conditioning, radiator. There's a lot of stuff going on in here to fit this. We're working through this project. One of the things we did this week that's amazing is we put the new 70th, 70th anniversary Warren 8274. I mean, if you're building a Jeep, it needs an 8274 on it. Um, other than that, you know, we put all the welders to bed for the weekend. They're lined up really nice. A lot of people don't know it either. These things are called whelpers. Kind of cool. You know, batteries are all charging. Basically, it's time to go home. I watch these babies from the uh, cameras all weekend to make sure nothing happens. Have a good weekend.